we're going out on a boat trip right now. Just waiting for Ryan to rush back, uh, buying some cigarettes. So I'm all stressed and yes, I need to get on the boat and chill out. <laughs> Look who it is, finally made it on the boat. <laughs> Let's go buy cigarettes because somebody gets stressed on being a passenger in the car. <laughs> Last one on the boat. <laughs> At least I'm on the boat. Yeah, you're on yeah. the boat. No, I'm finally like, chill now. I'm Breathe. chilled. I'm chilled. <laughs> You've been chilled the whole time. Correct. <laughs> no, the boat looks amazing though, so. Looking forward to this. Just before we're heading out, just to do a quick tour. Yesterday morning we were experiencing an amazing sunrise. Now we are heading out into the Great Atlantic. Been sent down to the gallows or something like that over there. Thought I'd give you guys a bit more of a tour of what's down below. Obviously we got the loose. But as you can see, really cool down here. Um, some bits and bobs and that from the uh, the seas, some whale sharks, whale bones. Before, I could not imagine sailing from Europe to uh, the Americas in this in the what, 14th, 15th century. Absolutely bonkers. And then back up again. Enjoying your boat trip? Yes, I am. Good. <laughs> You're enjoying your boat trip, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hello Susie!
Yeah, so we've just, well, we've, we've been on a, a boat trip. It was lovely, actually. I would, I would recommend it. I thought it was a pirate ship. No, uh, on the Santa Maria de Colombo, which is a replica of the Santa Maria that Christopher Columbus sailed around <laughs> the world in. Um, highly recommend it. Really, really good. Uh, the crew were fantastic. Really fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to do that, it's uh, the actual company is called Santa Maria de Colombo. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just on the harbour in um, Funchal. Um, 35 euros. 35 euros per person. Yeah. There's a bar on board. It's really lovely. Yeah, really good. You can usually see dolphins and whales, but we were unlucky today. Yeah, the it's, guys were saying that they're, it's, it's just yeah. pop lucky. They're all tracing the, the, the octopus, so you can see pilot whales and a few other bottlenose yeah. dolphins. And they do right near the um, harbour, what's been sighted recently, so we can see they have been sighted, but yeah, we were all lucky today. Unfortunately, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Definitely um, recommend this if you're ever in, uh, in Madeira and anywhere near Funchal. Yeah, it was lovely. And yeah, the boat makes it a unique experience on its own, just being on board there, it was lovely. And the, um, the crew were just absolutely lovely, friendly, really informative. They want you to ask you uh, to ask them questions yeah. to to um, like uh, explain everything you know about the the island and felt as if we had a bit of a personal tour. Some of the yeah, people on the we boat did. were a we... bit quiet, and the guy was yeah. just sitting with us chatting away, which was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, um, so, so we've learnt loads about um, another half of the island that we've we've not explored yet in the car, and um, we just sailed round sailed round the cliff, uh, the highest cliff in the island. The world. Highest cliff in the world, oh, apparently, yeah, ah. 586 meters, random fact for you. Yeah. Did take that on board. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty good Good, good start to the day. Yeah. They leave at, uh, what, 10.30 and 1.30, so yeah, there's two, two trips a day. a day, seven days a week. So, yeah, yeah, if you're ever in the area, get on the boat. Check them out. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to add that the guy had, like, a really good head of hair. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> The, the tour guy, didn't they? Yeah. I was actually really jealous of the guy's hair. He had the best hair like I've seen the whole the whole trip. And the other guy looked like Chris <laughs> Harris from Top Gear. Well, <laughs> me, to be fair, who has no hair. <laughs> but yeah, the guy who was chatting to us had, uh, had some good hair. Hair envy? <laughs> <laughs> if you want some hair envy, try <laughs> Go and pop around and see the guys. <laughs> So we are now at Nagoya Sushi Alicate and we've had this um, 12.90 euro um, meal and it is all you can eat. <laughs> you excited about the show you? Oh yeah. <laughs> Our first little dishes have arrived but we ordered about 10. <laughs> So this, uh, come check out this place uh, for this deal. This is um, just opposite the harbour in Funchal. I've just been corrected geographically. It's the southwest part of the city. Not the north. Correct. <laughs> Ready. 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 Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Susie, Susie's cleared off all these plates. Don't you love? There goes the next one. Nom 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 nom. nom. <laughs> Happy love. probably going to be losing the light as we're doing it but trying to fit it in see it and see how it goes wish us luck <laughs> Gradient. 32% gradient. <laughs> First gear. 
all the way up. <laughs> Fun times. So happy we got the Via 500. <laughs> gone to plan looking for 25 fontaines we um i think we put the wrong destination in um to find the route in the car so where did we end up make, making it to ryan 25 fontaines the top so we're at the top of the mountain instead of the bottom but uh, so we've come out we're doing a bit of a hike just where we ended up parking um, yeah <laughs> change of plan <laughs> we got back in the car and Ryan somehow found the start of where we should have been for, for the 25 Fontes walk. Basically, we were uh, over there and then we've <laughs> driven all the way around to get here, other side of the valley. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, we've had a look, but we just think. It's a three hour hike. It's, it's too risky. Six, six o'clock now and it's yeah. It's very steep. Seven, I think it's nearly seven o'clock. Seven or seven. Oh. Yeah, but uh, we've just not got enough time to, to do it today in, in this light. So, you know, not everything goes to plan when you're <laughs> traveling. We've seen some amazing things. And to be honest, this is beautiful as well. But yeah, <laughs> not today. No, not but... today, Satan. <laughs> I'm gonna see some waterfalls tomorrow, so it's not all bad. Yeah, so. I mean, like I was just saying when we were driving down the road, though, like you can't even work out what we're looking at there. Is it the sea? Is it clouds? It's like, the sea. With that high up, you just don't know. It's white. It doesn't even look like the sea. It's a reflection. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> quick update. It's uh, cold up here. It's, it's sunny, cold. but it's cold. Yeah, and we can hear the waterfall, so yeah. halfway there. They are down cool. there. You can actually see the path going down as well. All the way down there, right? You can see the path. Exactly. We would have had to have hiked down that and then back up again. Yeah, so. it's. I mean, you can see it. There's a little sign right here, and you can see it is a massive drop in elevation, which we would have to go down and come back up. We've got a head torch, so we'd be prepared for it to go dark for a little bit of the way, but not... Not in these bad boys. <laughs> not for the whole thing. No. Plus we won't be able to see the waterfalls. Exactly. <laughs> so, quick update. So, uh, we're going to be heading home in a bit, and uh, yeah. we'll update you guys on canyoning tomorrow. See you in a bit. We've got a bit of uh, an obstruction in the road. <laughs> I'm gonna say he has right of way with those horns. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cow, Mr. Bull. I don't know if this is covered or not, insurance. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, Moo Cow. <laughs> it's obviously got somewhere to be. <laughs> it's a sheep. How is it? Uh, look at this sun sunset. Just stopped to watch the sunset. Absolutely gorgeous from there.